You know, I wish I had a better, very cut and dry answer for you as to why you should get your photos printed. But really, I think the main reason is it, it just makes them tangible. You can feel them and maybe people want to buy them. Hello, Venti viewers. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we're going over why and how you should print your photography. Now, I just got two prints printed up myself for a client that I'm going to display in his office so that I can potentially sell them myself. But I thought, you know what? I've learned a lot of things printing my work, so maybe I should share that knowledge with you guys. So we're gonna go over a few quick and dirty tips on how to get your files ready for printing, starting with tip number one in Lightroom. Okay, so we have our image here. Now this image has already been fully edited. This is the way I like it. It's good to go. So what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna go up here to photo. We're gonna go to enhance, and it's going to bring up this menu for us here and you wanna make sure you choose super resolution. So if you press and hold on the image, you can kind of see the before and the after. This is great for large displays and prints. And guess exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna make your stuff ready for large displays and prints. So we're gonna hit enhance and then it's gonna just automatically do this for us. All right, so now we can tell that this image is enhanced by this little star icon right here. So this is our final image. We'll export it and we'll move on to our next step here. Once you have your image exported, you then need to decide where you wanna get this photo printed. Now, I've printed on metal, canvas, and glass. These two prints that I got most recently are on glass. I ordered them from a website called FractureMe.com, which is not the sponsor of today's video because we're not at a thousand followers yet. So maybe consider liking and subscribing for more content that helps photographers become better photographers. So we're gonna to go to FractureMe.com. We have all of our sizes available to us. Now, the sizes that I wanna get are the extra large, which is a 28.8 .8 by 21.6. So this is actually our exact measurements that we want. So we have our image here on our desktop. We're gonna open it up, just double click, open it up in preview. We're gonna go up here to tools. Then we're going to go to adjust size. We're gonna make sure it's set to custom inches, and then we wanna hit this little lock right here so that we can customize the exact size we want this. Okay, so let's look at this. So 28.8 .8 by 21.6. So we're gonna type that in here. 28.8 .8 by 21.6. So there's our image size. Now resolution, when I'm getting things printed very large, always make it 300 DPI. That's 300 dots per inch. That way when you get really, really close to the image and you wanna look at it and pixel peep it like no one does except professional photographers, you can see all the really great resolution on it. So on top of enhancing it in Photoshop and then also enhancing it here, we should have a pretty, pretty sharp image. Now I'm gonna hit okay. And then once we have our image sized up here, we're going to do one more thing. This is personal taste. I think it adds a little extra layer of personality to the photo, makes it a little bit more legit. We're gonna add your signature to the photo, which is actually very easy to do. So first thing we wanna do, we're gonna go up here to where it says sign. We're gonna hit right here. And as you can see, I already have two here, but we're gonna create a signature. Now, what this is gonna let you do is if we choose camera, it's gonna pull up my iMac. There we go. I already have my name written right here, the Venti Views. I'm just gonna hold it up to the screen. Maybe. There we go. And we're gonna turn it like that. So now I have my second signature here. I'm gonna choose my first one because that's usually the one that I go with. So it's gonna make it really large. We're just gonna resize it. I like to make it pretty small because when you're printing stuff pretty big, it's gonna show up, trust me. So we're gonna move it down here. Now it is black against a black background. We wanna actually see it. So we are going to click up here and we're gonna change it to white. So now we have our image with our signature right here. We're gonna save it. It's the exact measurements that we need for Fracture Me so that way when it comes in, it's not cropped. 
it's everything that you saw that day with the camera and it's gonna look beautiful. All right, and then the last tip that I have for you is to print some labels. If you're gonna sell this stuff or even if you wanna make it more legit and not sell it and just hang it wherever, it's nice to have a little kind of label. I got this on Etsy. Come on, focus, there we go. I got this on Etsy, they were super cheap. They were 20 bucks total for both of them. They just stick on right next to the image and that way you can have a price there for everyone and see the name of it. I'm terrible with names. I just called it Big Sur Rock and Big Sur Portal. These photos were taken in Big Sur, obviously. But that's it, guys. That's all I have for you today. Go print something. It's amazing. That's how I started my career was I printed one thing. People loved it, and I thought maybe there's more that I could do with this. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.